magnet on a stick, galvanometer, laser, simple little laser pointer with a uh, little paper clip uh, attached to it, two coils of wire hand spun, uh, one just loose, one around a uh, cardboard tube. The second one could be around a cardboard tube as well, but I destroyed my first one on accident, so I just use a dry erase marker and freeformed it. Uh, inside the second or the first coil is uh, I just picked up a uh, uh, a socket out of uh, out of the toolbox. You could use a stack of washers. That would work just fine. Anything that's uh, that's ferrous, anything uh, iron that you can put there in the middle of that second coil, make it more sensitive. Laser beam hits the uh, the mirror on which is another one of these little uh, powerful rare earth magnets. <clears throat> Try it's a spot here. This could be down the hall. Make it as sensitive as you want. Uh, this will be enough. Even the stray little air currents here, you see, cause a little fluctuation. And that's okay. I mean, we're not after something quantitative here. This is just a qualitative type of study. And so I'm going to hold this in place because this tends to grab a little bit. And I don't want it to, well, you can see even my little thing here has altered this. But I'm going to bring in the... Uh, I'm going to bring in the magnet slowly. And you see there's a movement. I'm going to try and take it away quickly. You see there's a bigger movement. So you can see that there's a current being induced in this second green coil here which is creating a magnetic field that affects the permanent magnet that's on the back of the mirror changing its position simple little device the wire cost me eight bucks at Radio Shack the dowel rods a uh, pack of six I got for I think about two bucks something like that uh, the mirrors get a whole stack of these mirrors I don't. Here we go. Whole stack of these little mirrors. Uh, this is two bucks at uh, Michael's. I got the uh, the nice big round ones for uh, two bucks fifty at uh, at Michael's. These little rare earth magnets. These are the uh, these are the real expensive bits. Five bucks for three of them. And so for under twenty bucks, uh, actually uh, probably under fifteen bucks. You've got your own uh, homemade little galvanometer that's ultra, ultra sensitive. Uh, even small little changes like this uh, can pick up. Great way to demonstrate the, uh, the effects of electromagnetism, induced, magnetic fe or induced currents, uh, and then induced magnetic fields. Uh, fantastic little, uh, little cheap experiment. That's, that's what I like about this. It's cheap.